Well, hello everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Stanion. Um, my name's uh, Tony. I'm the Cockney Cruiser. I've put together another vlog of a trip to the Triumph Visitor Experience. This is my fifth trip out on my Royal Enfield Meteor and I've got to just say that each ride out just seems to be getting better and better and better. Anyway, on arrival at Triumph's factory, to me it was an eye-opener. It was in fact a day for the girl bikers. The organisers of this event uh, were aiming to break their previous attendance record. Well, guess what? They did it. I think the previous record was about 1,200 and they managed to get nearly 1,600 girl bikers there. So well done guys. So here are some video uh, clips and a, of me draw, riding around and a few shots for, uh, from the day. You will have to excuse the post-production compilation of this vlog, but I'm still getting used to the Ghost XL, especially with the mic in the helmet. But I'm getting there. There are some post-production voiceovers and some music to support the vlog. I just hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. The Cockney Cruiser is a new channel and sister to my other channel, The Cockney Camper, and basically needs all your support. To subscribe, just go to my channel, The Cockney Cruiser. Enjoy the vlog. Any comments, please feel free to do so and they will all be published. Thank you for watching. So we're uh, just uh, setting off from home here. On our way up to Hinkley to the Triumph factory. And um, hopefully you have a nice ride up there. And um, a good day out. Just driving out of the village now. Uh, well, just uh, it's quite overcast at the moment, but um, I think it's going to brighten up quite a bit. Okay. I don't know why, but I was going to turn right there, but never mind. This is just as an easy way out of the village. You all have uh, most of this trip uh, a little bit of music in the background. Uh, Still haven't got to grips with this uh, camera yet. Uh, the Ghost XL. Uh, I think the video is absolutely superb, but I've still got to learn the volume side of things on this. So I've done a, this is a little bit of an overlay. We should be uh, travelling on some nice country roads once we get out of this uh, commercial part of uh, Northamptonshire. Let's uh, have a look. Shall we stay in the slipstream or shall we? No, we'll overtake. Can't we? a bike that does nearly 100 miles to the gallon it really doesn't matter if you just give it some some now and then but we're not going very fast here yeah, anyway we'll enjoy it now I know all these guys that go out on sports bikes and that lovely bikes and I love them especially the the Triumph sports bikes the Daytona um, and the Speed 4 but they may eat up the road but this little meteor say a little 350 it eats up the road but it digests so it doesn't go straight through so you get a chance to uh, see the countryside and enjoy your ride more it's a little mini cruiser and it's um it's a lovely little bike 
It's done nearly a thousand miles on it now. Uh, it eats up miles quickly. Uh, it really gets you to your next service quick. <laughs> so I've got 3,000 to be the next service. So I've got another uh, 1,300 miles to do on it. So we're just driving down getting to the road at the moment. It's getting to the road. This takes you into Corby. Yeah, that creaking, that's this seat that I'm sitting on. A little bit creaky, it's not on the bike. I'm doing this uh, post-production on this video. So, sorry about that. I'll try and uh, take it out when I put the whole video together. Taking it nice and easy. This is another little piece of kit that I'm using that I haven't used before uh, to do the over uh, the audio over over the video. And that's the um, F2 field recorder, zoom field recorder. Um, I'm hoping it works. We'll see. Don't forget guys to um, subscribe and uh, like the video and share on if you can. Uh, it'll be great for the uh, YouTube algorithms and uh, it'll be nice um, to get a few more subscribers. I've only just started this one up, uh, the, uh, the uh, other channel that I've got is the Cockney Camper and that's got about 5,000 subscribers on. But there again, that's a different subject. Um, the Cockney Cruiser is a new channel, and hopefully, um, you'll like some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing. So, uh, mainly ride outs and showing you some of the roads of Northamptonshire and some of the nice areas, the, uh, the landscapes that uh, Northamptonshire affords. This is just the outskirts of uh, Corby town centres on the right, sort of a mini ring road, pretty cool man, I quite like this, uh, while I'm on, uh, on a subject, let's, let's, on a different subject here, let's, uh, let's talk about um, other people's videos, and one guy, I don't know him, I don't know him from Adam, that I particularly like and he's very informative and he has got a hell of a lot of knowledge and most of his new videos that are coming out now are politically motivated and uh, what basically the government and Department of Transport are doing to our roads and I suggest that you watch his videos his name is Stuart Billingham he's a got a YouTube channel under under his name Stuart Billingham and I tell you what watch every video they are brilliant informative a little bit frightening but he knows his stuff and um, if you if you watch this uh, video Stuart then uh, you know please accept this as a little gift just a little promotion for your channel I think it's brilliant and I look forward to future videos so uh, yeah have a, have a look, Stuart, S-T-U-A-R-T, uh, feeling them. Enjoy. Right, now we're coming out of... Um, out of Corby now. This will be the last roundabout before we come into some uh, a nice main country road but taking us through to uh, 
Market Harbour, which is another nice little village or town, Market Town in fact in Northamptonshire. Okay, here we go. I'll rev it up a bit. You can tell you just about the winter countryside. Look at the hedgerows here, quite built up here, but it does open out. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down to uh, Market Harbour. There's some nice uh, scenes. As soon as these hedgerows uh, scale down in size and uh, open out. Well, I decided that Market Harbour will be the subject of a, uh, another video. Um, I'm going to do that trip in its entirety uh, just as, as one video because it's about a bit about a 20 minute video and uh, you might like to enjoy that separately. So watch out for that video. So here we are, just taking all the side roads now. Uh, uh, the way I'm being directed, and hopefully. We're going to come out at the right destination. Don't forget guys, subscribe and like and share this video. Leicester now or uh, just coming into the outskirts of Leicester oh this motorbike is absolutely beautiful Gives you enough, it's got enough torque to give you a nice bit of pull if you want to overtake. Uh, and it's just so comfortable. You could sit on this for hundreds of miles and still get off the bike and not have a numb bum. I mean, who wants a numb bum? music that you can hear in the background is uh, it's library music so um, probably not the best uh, I will be sourcing some other music I'm a, I'm a bit of a 50s rock and roll freak um, uh, also a little bit of a, a Floydy Zeppelin man uh, but um, we'll, we'll sort out some decent music on future videos and um, Any comments? Oh, well, I was a, a rock and roll DJ uh, when I was um, living down in uh, Hampshire, Surrey, Hampshire, borders there near Guildford. Um, you can all have a private laugh here under the name of uh, Tony Mascaboni. What? What? Don't ask. Don't ask. I don't know how I got that name. Well, I do know how I got that name, but. Um, I will be featuring uh, some music hosted by myself as a little uh, rock and roll DJ background 
at some point. Here we go, off we go. Quite a bit of traffic here, actually, I must say. I've got a trip coming up uh, August the 30th, that'll be uh, that's another video um, that I've just got to do some post production on, which, uh, sorry, September, uh, July the 30th, and uh, that was a great day out. Um, hello. That was an absolutely great day out. And we, um, there's about 20 bikes, 15, 20 bikes, I'm not quite, I can't remember now. All bar one of them were Royal Enfields, and uh, we did a trip out to the National Motorcycle Museum. What a day. I think uh, there'll be a nice video for you to watch. Uh, there'll be some stills of some of the fantastic bikes that are on display there. And uh, that will be coming uh, probably, oh, I've got three videos to do, so it'll probably be the second or third one that I'm going to do. And that will be hopefully next week sometime. Towards the middle of uh, August. We're quite near to our destination now. Says he who's only ever been here once before. Uh, that was when I had my uh, Daytona T595. A bike that caught fire in Northamptonshire on my way back from London. Fortunately it was a uh, a triumph uh, callback. Uh, it was there was something wrong with the uh, fuel system, um, and they repaired, picked it up, and repaired it for nothing, which was quite nice. That was a lovely bike, though fast. Oh my God, was that fast! There's some lovely countryside around here, Leicestershire. Um, Leicestershire, Rutland, Northamptonshire, uh, and going out to Cambridgeshire, although Cambridgeshire is a little bit flat, it is nice. It's a nice, uh, nice area to drive through, some nice country lanes there. sounds that you hear when you're trying to record something. I hope I can take them all out from the background. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit naughty. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, 
here we go. Amazing, really. Places that you've been before a long time ago. And then you go back again. And you look at it, it's totally different. It looks totally different, especially when you're uh, cruising at reasonable speeds and not buzzing around. Between 60 70 miles an hour. <coughs> Which you shouldn't be doing anyway through towns uh, and, and villages, but you know. We just go over the M1. Now, I know said we were nearly there earlier, but I'm sure we're nearly there now. I'm 100% positive. So, we're going to switch to the factory visitor experience at Triumph. Look at that car park. Now this is the girls car park. They're all girls bikes. There were about 1,600 bikes there. 1,500 bikes. And here they are coming in. That's me talking in the background there. Now this queue of bikes was around about 10 past 10 in the morning, it was uh, opening at 10 and I think the queue went back over a mile outside of the Triumph Visitor Experience and these are all the girls coming into their car park. We only had a small car park, the men's, we were totally segregated from the women. some of these bikes, some of the bikes are absolutely enormous, enormous engines. I think this, this is absolutely fantastic. Apparently the girl that had had this meeting before, the girls actually broke the record, which I think is brilliant and testament to girl bikers. There's a bike that comes out through here now, I think it's a victory, I'm not sure, I think it's a victory. It is ginormous. Um, I'm hoping I've got it on video. Some more stills from the car park. Oh, here it comes. Look at this bike. It's a car on two wheels. That's amazing. And there we are, a little bit of light footage of the car park, just filling up, still filling up. It was filling up all day, uh, up until about three o'clock. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all, enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like, and uh, watch out for future videos. And share this video if you so wish. Thank you very much for watching.